Hello folks, my name is Joseph Sharon and I would like to speak to you today about the Northern Song Dynasty Rue Kiln Tribute Wares. The actual Rue Kiln, uh, they had uh, been excavating it since 1985 or 86, I'm not sure the actual date, but uh, they have not found the royal kiln yet, and uh, there's they found over five hundred thousand shards of uh, broken pieces that they they broke that they were in such bad shape they had to break them. But I'm going to uh, uh, talk to you a little about here about the the fire gilded bands that are around the rims and bases and sometimes only the rim uh, that uh, have uh, corrosion. Uh, the copper bands have uh, cuprite and then malachite on top of the cuprite. Uh, this can be seen with uh, a magnifying glass very easily and uh, it actually can be seen with your own eyes very easily too once you know what to look for um, I'm gonna move down here down the bottom of this page I'm going to show you now these three different types of wares here this is the tribute wares this is the merchant wares, um, and this is the wares that Sotheby's and Christie's and Bonham's have sold, or Sotheby's and Christie's sold these. Bonham's have hasn't sold any rue ware. Um, now these are um, pieces that went through the kiln and they were actually uh, flawed pieces so they had to uh, they would take the flawed pieces out not major flaws uh, the major flaws they would uh, break them but the the flawed pieces they would take out and sell to the population at that time very cheap and then uh, the next step up would be the wares here which are the merchant wares they don't have the flaws and these are better wares they came out of the kiln a little bit better and uh, they would sell to the wealthy merchants and then the best wares would be the tribute wares and these are tribute wares here and uh on the tribute wares, they put on fire gilted uh, copper bands around the rim and base, and then some only on around the only around the rim. Uh, but the corrosion on these pieces took about nine hundred years to corrode, and uh, like these three pieces here. Uh, just click into them and uh, th this piece has no agate in it that's the other thing none of these pieces have agate in it because they didn't use agate uh, in these pieces because they're not the royal pieces and uh, you can see the uh, the, the reddish and brownish uh, reddish uh, cuprate and then the green malachite and uh, it's very easy to see and uh, this can't cannot be faked and uh, look at this other one the base and you can see the green the reddish cup right and then the green malachite 
Now these pieces were lightly cleaned. They weren't. Uh, uh, they someone had apparently cleaned them at some point, and uh, so the uh, the the uh, cup rate in malachite is not the same because they they wiped a lot of it off and uh, and. Uh, Stripped a lot of it off. But it, it uh, now this one was clean too and uh, slightly cleaned. Uh, and you can see the uh, red cup right and the, and the green uh, malachite. Now these uh, tribute wares, they were given to the emperor as tribute. And uh, the emperor uh, felt so highly about the uh, Rue Kiln, he commissioned them to uh, produce wares for himself, his court, exclusively. And that's when the Rue Kiln uh, moved, uh, I imagine, the best potters, opened up a kiln uh, probably around the, uh, the palace because he worked very uh, closely with them uh, developing the, the wares that he wanted uh, for the... Uh, himself and his court. So I'm just going to talk about the first kiln here, the first root kiln, the one they're excavating right now. And uh, if we go up here, Now, this is a botryoid uh, malachite patinas, and uh, this is an explanation of, uh, by a mineralogist, and uh, talks about how this forms. And uh, here's a Northern Sung Dynasty coin, and if I uh, magnify it, you can see it close up. You can see these round uh, these round formations, malachite formations that there's growing on this coin. And uh, over here is uh, just. This is uh, the uh, Malachite formations. With the fire gilting, when they did fire gilting, uh, whether it was over uh, copper or silver, uh, the fire gilting, they used mercury and gold and uh, applied it to the object and then uh, used fire to actually burn the mercury off on the piece and uh, it was a very dangerous uh, you know health wise it was very dangerous because they were uh, you know, firing these pieces with the uh, you you know with fire and the mercury uh, uh, was very toxic and uh, but this shows the, uh, it's called the botryoid uh, formations on these patinas. Now these are all from, uh, different uh, pieces that uh, have, have these bands, but they all have this, these weren't cleaned or anything. Uh, so they're, 
they're very easy to see and uh, play this video just for a minute and it, it shows you that this uh, can't be faked and this guarantees the authenticity of these pieces with these bands they can't be faked this is the scale of it right could you tell us what bubbles right they look like bubbles uh the technical term for them is both trioids but that's one of the ways that uh, malachite and azurite crystals can form is in these little spheres or globules mm -hmm. and i have not been able to find any evidence that this can be recreated in a lab uh, you see the small scale is one millimeter scale bar at the bottom. Yeah. And so when I find these things, it's a good indication that this patina is something that took a long time to create, not something that was uh, applied or created in the lab. Yeah. Fascinating. Oh, and this one? Same thing in, in Azurite. These little nodules. Um, Other modules, yes. Uh, sorry that I did not include a scale bar with that, but I would expect it to be very similar to the previous slide. Yeah. Uh, and when you find these things on the surface of your patina, uh, again, it's a very good indicator. This is the scale. So this is uh, what he was speaking about. And this gentleman uh, has a company. It's called Priceless Past. And he does this for a living, uh, authenticates uh, ancient uh, bronze and uh, copper objects. And he has a website here. You click on this and go to his website. And if you want to see his full video, I believe uh, that was only one minute of it. That he's got a full video in three different parts. And it's very uh, informative if you're, you know, uh, learning about uh, the different patinas on bronzes and copper and, and that sort of thing. Um, so let me go. Here and these are these are all tribute wares that I'm going to just briefly go through. Uh, and this is the cup that uh, I took up the Bonhams ten years ago, and uh, you can see the green patina, how it looks like this, uh, and uh, this piece was partially cleaned. And here's the, the close-up. There's no agate in the glaze. They did not use agate in any of these pieces. Uh, that's before they started uh, using agate. Only after the emperor commissioned them, is that, that's when they started using agate. And this is a close-up of that band. And it shows the cup right in malachite. I can go down here. Here's another little band here. That was clean too. But it still has traces of the, the cup right in malachite. And this can't be faked. It just can't be faked. And uh, And these are all tribute wares. These were all uh, given to the emperor as tribute. And there's no crushed agate in the glaze here. And here's a close up. Down here somewhere. 
this one. You can see the close up photos. Now, this one hasn't been cleaned. And uh, you can see the green, the tan in it. And you see the, uh, the close up photo, the microscopic photo. You'll see what I'm talking about with the triad. Botryomations. Because the uh, it shows no no ag activities. Because the uh, uh, fire guillotine, when they did the fire guillotine. Uh, the gold has pores in it, and uh, oh, it may not get years to develop this patina on here. Uh, it's the, the copper underneath corrodes, and it pushed out out of these uh, uh, pores uh, and created this uh, this patina. Pushed out cup rate and the malachite grew, grew on top of that, the cup rate, and it created these uh, formations of the uh, malachite. There's another piece here. And you can see the band. There's a lot of green on it, but until you see it close up, then you can really appreciate the, what it looks like under uh, magnification, under a microscope. And we can go down here. And there's several colors that they use for the tribute wares. And uh, I'm going to just briefly go down here and show you a couple of these. And this is uh, considered sky after rain. And this is a close up of the glaze. And this is the uh, close up of the bin with the malachite formations. You can see the green. This, this uh, piece hasn't been cleaned. And you can see the malachite formations. And no, there's no agate in the glaze on any of these pieces. Because they didn't put an agate in. They only started using agate when they were doing the royal wares. And this, this, uh, he shows the, uh, the uh, malachite formations. And here's another color. It's a, it's a red. And let me just click on this. Go through this piece close up. This hasn't been cleaned either. And you can see the uh, not, back down here. you can see the malachite formations on this this piece. And 
Let me see more red brush washers. Is a burner. This has been slightly cleaned. You can still see the, uh, the cup right in the malachite collection. This is a moonlight white. And you can see the, uh, the cup right in the malachite corrosion. The piece would look like it was slightly cleaned. These are all uh, tribute wares that were given to the Emperor as tribute. This is a uh, beautiful spent cup. That piece has some there. It looks like it was cleaned a little bit. Uh, and continue to go down. And this piece is a uh, uh, blue, sky blue color. And you can see the uh, cup right in Malachite. That, that does it for the uh, trivia pieces. Um, I don't think I have. I have to tell you right now, but I'm going to put out another video on exclusively the oil pieces. And uh, come to my website at uh, Chinese Masterpieces, and uh, you can see these things uh, you know, in, in your time and close up photos. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and good luck collecting.